my great grandfather was someone that we grew up worshiping um, in my family, not only for his lovely artwork, um, but also for the person he was. He was really just a wonderful man. I think my aunt and uncle would have suffered dramatically if they did not have that meager income coming in from the, uh, the WPA murals. I, I, don't... I was so happy to hear that they were being restored. With your smile so warm. The legacy of Norwalk's restored WPA murals and paintings is about more than the art. The murals also capture faces and families at work and play in Norwalk during the Great Depression. In the introduction to a book about Norwalk's murals, local arts educator Larry Flack said to Norwalkers in the 1930s and decades beyond, these murals were like snapshots with familiar family members and locations. 75 years later, family and friends of some of the artists and people who pose for their painting share their stories and memories. They recalled how Romer painted real life scenes with people he knew. Avison liked the human face. Gruel painted scenes from books he loved. They also shared their personal connection to this period in history, when Roosevelt's New Deal provided jobs for so many. Everyone is grateful. Norwalk preserved these hidden treasures for future generations. Here are the stories of the families and faces of Norwalk's WPA murals. Mr. Rumler was very smart. We can identify his grandchildren in several of the paintings. One of the most energetic paintings we have is Danbury Fair. That's my dad. When he was working in the school, Rumler asked him if he'd bring overhauls and pose for a picture the next day. And that's what happened. In the mural, Apple Harvest, there's a young man in a white shirt, and his last name was Herbert. The mural is of Herbert's farm in Wilton. In the Newtson School mural, there are two sisters in the painting. They are the Chariot Sisters who lived in South Norwalk, a block from Newtson School, today the site of Columbus School. Rumler's entire family is in the canvas we call Half Pasture. He used family members for, for uh, models in his paintings. Um, I love seeing them because I get to see my mother is in them and my aunt and, and uh, my grandparents. And, and so those are the ones that I really love are the ones where he used family members. The roadside stand, that one prominently features my mother. It was great fun to go visit uh, his studio. You'd walk in and just the smell of the oil paints and seeing all these things that uh, he'd been working on, it was, it was a lot of fun. Been oystering on this harbor for quite a while, I think back since the 40s, I think's when they started. And we built our own business, which is Norm Blumenson. I know that while Wallace Bell and uh, Cap Lovejoy you know, they're in the murals. I think they're starring on one of the boats. Uh, Wallace Bell was my grandmother's brother. In the murals, when that was, they were oyster companies were up and down Water Street. You probably had six, seven different companies where they had all the properties behind it where they could store the shell. Now, t today, it's, you know, there's a lot more buildings. The buildings are built closer to the water. You know, people are building more and more closer, so you don't have the room to put the shell piles. We use the mops. It's still a tool that, that we have. Um, I'm the granddaughter of George Avison. My father, George, was his eldest son. My grandfather seemed to be fascinated with the human figure in action and, and, and the faces and the determination on the faces of his uh, subjects and many of his subjects in the sports murals are my father and my uncle Al.
I recognize my father and my uncle in the hockey murals and the football murals. When we were at his house visiting him, he was always working while you were there. He never sat down in the living room and had a conversation or I don't remember him ever leaving his easel. He was always working on some project. Didn't realize till I was a teenager that he had a glass eye. He only had one eye. He had lost his eye as a child in an accident. I think as he grew older into his 60s and 70s, he was having trouble seeing clearly. So his pictures changed to be more impressionistic and he started to use watercolor more less detail, less realistic. And I found an envelope full of letters where he is describing his situation, that he has three children and a house and a wife, and he's, he's almost pleading with the program to get into the WPA program. He's applying and pleading at the same time, and I was very moved to read the letters. He had these large canvases. He worked on one or two at a time of the WPA mural. So I saw him at work on these canvases and then went down to the, uh, I guess it was center school at the time uh, as they were installed. And so I, I was kind of, as a 10 year old boy, kind of involved and was in, impressed and overwhelmed with his talent and ability. And he grew up with uh, the Mark Twain books and, uh, and all the children's classics. And, and I think when he was assigned to do the WPA murals in Norwalk and New Canaan, that they were allowed to choose the subject matter. And, uh, and he chose uh, thinking that it was for school children and the library and all, that children's classics, which had meant so much to him. So I think that's why he chose all of those subjects. He wanted to be as accurate as he could my name's Dave Hopp. I'm an oysterman, clamor from Norwalk. I've all my life uh, lived in Norwalk. One particular uh, mural, the one with the starfish, picture with my grandfather at the wheel, and uh, my uncle actually, Wallace Bell Jr., is actually handling the star mop. On the stern of the boat is Captain Lovejoy. He was a famous oysterman in Norwalk. But the General Service Administration presented us with the paintings. We own them now. And I don't know if there's any other community, but it was all based on the fact that we lived up to the obligation of getting the work done. That commission to paint those murals during, um, during the, the Works Progress Administration saved my great-grandparents. I think that my great-grandfather would be just delighted to see uh, the, that the murals are all being preserved.